Just me, you now, EJ. Let's have fun. Yeah, and the Canadian Embassy is right here. So I feel right at home. <laughs> oh yeah, I should take a picture. Yeah. Heart been so cold that I don't feel it all. Scarred up inside so I built all these walls. We're on our way now and the first thing EJ asks is like, where's the coffee? I gotta get my coffee, man. What's going on? <laughs> Let's do this. The world runs on coffee. We're running on a timeline here, right? Because you, you got about 10 minutes to show up to this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Don't worry, I know I know I know my way around. My head rolling back, but I'm faking the rush. We're out every night and I'm lonely as fuck. I make my own rooms in my own plans. I got no room for no man, that's my way. I decided to leave UJ in a coffee shop just walking over as our friend is waiting there. And the baristas are taking their time. UJ is saying that baristas here take twice as long as they do in North America. Welcome to Europe. Then I saw you in a dream, right? I want to call you. I kind of feel that I can't name. We're here with Lazo. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. So Lazo's a trainer to the stars and billionaires here in London. Billionaire, no stars. <laughs> no stars, just billionaire. He's the star. <laughs> but you're tw we're, we want to get water for the table. You're saying no water when you eat. Why is that? Okay, so I'm a big thing on hydration. So my plan is about drinking lots of water, but throughout the day. And so you have alkaline and acidity. The only time you want to be acidic is while you eat food. So as long as you're hydrating throughout the day, you should have enough saliva to stop swallow food. You wouldn't have a problem. But if you drink water while you're eating, and you're trying to push the food down, all you're doing is uh, diluting the hydrogen ions in your stomach, so you're not actually digesting the food. In your stomach, it's supposed to be minus so pH 2. It's like sulfuric acid. It will yeah. digest anything, especially meat dishes, guys. So my advice to you is drink lots of water beforehand, Stop half an hour before and then start again half an hour after. That deal. But the problem with that is, if you're in the restaurant, especially the waiters, they think you're cheap because like, you don't want to get any water or any drinks. That's the only downside. Uh, well, that's great. That's, I've always been a believer of that. Yeah. So that's amazing. So there's my empty glass. <laughs> <laughs> It's strange, but I don't need a tiny island capture the entire world. Well, behind the entire world, I'm gonna say, right? Same, yeah. All right. Don't be inside. We're here with Andreas. Get a good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with Andreas, good friend. So I want to ask you. So you had a really good success with uh, your app. So tell us a little about it. No, how did that come that wasn't about? me. I think that was one of the other guys. I think. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. App of the year. One of the apps of the year. Uh, so we're just you've top, been doing top fifty, but we're not 50. counting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you've been in this game for some time now. What would you recommend just for people starting? Whether it be apps or tech. What, what would be like your just advice to try and break it out. I think what, it, what the stage a lot of people struggle with is they won't even get it down on, on paper and start like plotting out exactly what the idea is going to look like. And so just start there and then uh, things will start to evolve from there because too many people won't even put themselves through that first experience. And that's like the first biggest step to take basically. Yeah. Well, what's the next step after that simple step? The next step, step. <laughs> once you've found yourself a developer and then you get to the interesting like marketing phase, make sure you've got a big audience uh, preloaded before you go live um, and make sure they're super pumped for the launch because that's just going to absolutely crush it on the launch date and that's how you get noticed by people like Apple and tech journalists yeah. and things like that. Well, I'm saying, for example, you yourself don't have a huge audience, so what's your strategy? You kind of yeah, you yeah. team up with somebody else who does. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So if you don't have your own very big audience, then by all means like find somebody out there that can help you and whether you give them like a small percentage of the revenue or whether you can pay them some money up front or if there's some sort of benefit in there for them that's a great way of getting a big launch in the app store there you go and Check tell them about the app tell them about your app oh yeah, yeah, yeah. what's your app uh, app called app is called fitmencook 
Yeah, and what's the other one? Do you have any other ones right now? Oh, we got about eight, nine in the app store. All right. Find that one. That's yeah, the best one. Man cook. <laughs> I, every time I'm in the app store for the last month, I'm like, okay, they want me <laughs> to get this app. All right. In every single thing you do. Our meet up with our crew. <laughs> that was UJ. Cold. He's like it's like almost minus, and UJ's in the hoodie. He just doesn't care. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go meet Mimi now. I think some people recognize this. Hello. Maybe I just knew I had to wait for you. Draw a knife and carve a little space for you. We're now back home um, and I'm really happy. I actually just found out that somebody found my camera. That is Demetrius Leo's boyfriend, uh, husband, uh, found the camera. Check this out. I was like, quick question. Can you, uh, by the way, baby picture, this is so cute. <laughs> Leo's baby, Adriana's the cutest. Anyways, so do you guys, if, if, see if my Sony camera is there, and it's there. There's a camera that explains the whole vlogging situation and why I was vlogging with the iPhone today. Focus. Yeah, so I now borrowed Mimi's vlogging camera again, and I'm using it for now. She's actually vlogging today as well. So, Mimi, you know, I was just telling the story how I you found my vlogging camera. camera. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, there's, By the way, there's me cooking up a so storm. Weird. Like, look at how weird this looks. It looks like a little monster. Ooh, <laughs> so but this weird. is you have to cut it. Uh, yeah, I sliced it. So this is a wakame uh, seaweed, which is actually extremely good for your health because it has a lot of minerals. And I usually add it to a salad with like avocado and cucumber. Sometimes yeah, I add crab. The avocado salad is amazing. It's amazing. It's yeah, so delicious. Is, it looks what's this black thing? But it's actually wild rice. Yeah. I really like wild rice. Yeah, so we're Mimi's cooking, um, helping out, and yeah, we're gonna have some friends over for dinner. Pretty excited. How about you, Mimi? Did what? you enjoy your nap? I'm like, I think I'm still sleeping a little bit. Yeah, we had a little nap. Yeah. It was, it was or a, a, a long nap. <laughs> it was supposed to be little. I usually try to t not take la naps longer than 20 minutes, so I usually do 10 to 20 minutes. I think you slept for about an hour. But I slept for an hour. I just, I kind of did a major snooze. Yeah, so we'll see what happens, but I'm excited for dinner. Uh, lots of uh, cool friends are coming. Excited for you guys. Excited to be hosting. <laughs> But then what's the guarantee that those 24 hours will work out into 48 hours? There's no guarantee in life, but all the, the only guarantee is you're pushing your limit right now. And that's to me the most important thing. Are you pushing your current limit right now? It's the only thing we can really do. But I think if you decide to I think you actually the want to for people quit something, different people with different you just people. quit and then you deal with your body, it. you deal with your body just battling with you especially with sugar more. because the more sugar you have the more you want the more you want because i know it is like it actually it your oh my and like, i am obsessed yeah, like,